We are in conversation with Mr. Frank, who is the new MD at Volvo India. Now, all of today we have been driving the XC60. In fact, Mr. Frank, we have enjoyed driving the XC60 all of today. Now, the XC60, uh, the lineage has been one of uh, the most favorite brands in Europe. It is, uh, in fact, one of the best buys from Sweden, as we li always like to call it. Can you put some light on the new XC60 and how it fits into the scheme of things? Yeah, I mean, I, I think XC60 has had a great run. The existing XC60 has a great run in India. It's had a great run globally. And now, you know, now it's, it's time to bring in its successor. And of course, we're extremely excited about it. You know, if you look back now for, for uh, um, the, the introduction of our SPA platform, it's been enormously successful here in India as well as globally. So XC90 has come in and this is a, a whole new design language for us. Uh, the SPA platform has been very successful for us and, and, and the XC90 has been a, a very big hit here in India. And then based on that, based on the SPA, we've introduced S90, V90 cross country, and all of those have been extremely well, expect, well, well accepted by the Indian market. Now, the, the next level here is we're taking that SPA technology and we're bringing it down to the 60 series with, uh, with our best selling XC60. So you say it's been a success, it really has been. This is our best selling car for the last eight years. It doesn't happen every day that you get to replace, you know, you go from one success now to, a, to, a, to an even bigger success. So this is, this is needless to say, a very big, a big launch for, that, for us. Uh, this car now has, uh, you know, the, the existing XC60 is the best, uh, the best selling in Europe. It's the best selling midsize luxury SUV. It's, it's for us, it represents 30% of our volume globally, 30% of our volume in India. So this, you know, it's, it's hard to understate how important it is. But now we, we have a lot of confidence that it's gonna be great here. I know you guys are getting the chance to drive it. It's very interesting of you to mention the new design language. Now that uh, we always say that is one of the key features that has literally uh, turned the fortunes for Volvo in India. But don't you think that having the same kind of design filter across your entire lineup can sort of dilute the individuality of the product? No, I understand that. I, and, and I think that we've, we've definitely taken a step to, to, to make sure that people understand from a design language perspective that this is a Volvo, no matter what Volvo they're driving. And I think what we've done now is really brought consistency to the lineup with a lot of elements that are um, shared among all of the, uh, the spa, new spa cars. So specifically, we talk about the, the Thor's headlights, and I mean, these are, these are uh, a Volvo signature. And from the rear, when, whenever you see a Volvo, you know it's a Volvo. But you know, when, when you look at the, you know, for example, the, when you go from XC90 to XC60, you know, I, I think it still has its own unique character from a, from a de design perspective. You would never make the mistake of thinking that this is an XC90 when you see an XC60. I think it, it's still quite unique. One thing that I, I think that we actually take pride in now is, is we've launched some amazing feature and really packed the, uh, um, the, the, the 90s cars with amazing technology and, and you know, that, that, that really delivers on our human-centric promise, that, that people know how to use and they intuitively know how to use it. And now that we bring that same technology on the same platform to the XC60, certainly isn't anything to apologize for. I think that that's really de delivering a lot of value for, to, to the new XC60 owners. So that's something that I, I, I think overall, we're very happy with our design language. I, I personally think Thomas Ingenloth, our, our, uh, our global design head, has uh, really done a lot for this company and, and really helps us stand out on the streets uh, everywhere and I think particularly here in India. Now Volvo has never shied away from bringing in the latest in technologies and assistance systems to India. But a more basic question, the BS6 fuel, now that is something that uh, is expected to be rolled out in Delhi very soon. What are your thoughts on uh, the advancement in the fuel technology and of course its availability uh, or the concerns with its availability throughout the country? Well, I, I think on, on, on kind of the, the, the basic level, when we talk about fuel, you know, we, we as a company are, are ready to, to bring in, you know, a, a more advanced level of, of, of fuel engines. But at the moment, the availability of fuel is not, is not there. And I think once, once that, you know, I, I think that if, I, if I'm up to speed enough on this, you know, in Delhi, that this is, there's a lot of talk about upgrading the fuel requirements. And if it, if it happens just in Delhi and in other places, it makes it, you know, for Delhi customers, very challenging. So I, I, I think short term, we would probably want a little bit more broader coverage from, from a, a fuel perspective. But if you, if you take a, a broader, more strategic view, 
and you know we're very well aware of, of uh, uh, the Indian government's uh, need and want for uh, an electrification uh, of, of, of as many cars as possible on the road. And I, I think you know there, there's, there's a, a real push for that to make that happen by 2030. And we are we at Volvo now are the first company, the first mass market company to step out and say, okay, from 2019, we are going to be the every car that we every new car that we launch is going to be electrified, every single one. So I, I think we are those uh, strategically align very well. And I think short term is a bit tactical, figuring out how the how the fuels are up. But but long term and strategically, I think our our, our uh, uh, goals are certainly aligned, and we have the product to to prove it. Now the most important question that most of our viewers and our readers have been asking us, when will the new XC40 come down to the country? People seem to be very excited about it. A very, a very good question. And, and you know, I, I think what I really appreciate is, is you know, the, the Indian markets and, and, and the media's understanding of, of our strategy here. And, you know, that we are extremely strong player in the SUV market. Now, you know, we brought in XC90, customers have gone crazy for it. XC60 is going to be more of the same, and and I think even more customers are going to be able to enjoy it. It's 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 uh, you know it's our best-selling car, and 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 getting people into a Volvo SUV is going to be great. Of course, the next step is you know entering a new segment. You know we've never had a, a, a small SUV, and now we've revealed the new XC40. It's a natural step that we will be bringing it to uh, to uh, uh, India uh, in the near future, and we'll, you have to. Stay tuned and uh, find out when. We're also hearing about a lot of new developments that are happening at Polestar. Could you also shed some light on that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, I, I mentioned earlier Thomas Ingenloth and has been a, a great leader for us globally. He's still remaining our, our global head of design, but now has also taken on an additional role as the, the global CEO of Polestar. And we have a, a, a very good relationship with them. They're setting up their, their own organization. I think we're, we're waiting, you know, to, waiting to see exactly how we're going to be uh, to be working with them in the future. Uh, we of course also feel some of this excitement and can't wait to get our hands on some of these cars. So, but I think it, we're going to have to let it play out, play out a little bit globally and also let it play out a little bit in India to, before we can really uh, uh, make any, any Polestar announcements. Well, Mr. Frum, thank you so much for all your answers. Thank you so much for your time and we look forward to meeting you again at the launch of the XC60.